Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Cindy. Drop me a comment if you're here. I'm just going to figure out if I can share this. Hello, hello, hello. Oops, that's me. Yes. I don't want to hear me. There we go. Good, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. I am here. Hold on. I will show you. Oh, oh. I guess I'm sneak peeking what I'm working on. I don't know what I'm working on. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's a little warm here in Southern California, so I'm not going to open my window, but I would like to. Hi. Excuse the lighting. I'm going to, I'm going to actually, hi, everybody. I'm trying to figure out if I can share this video. So give me a second. We have three minutes until showtime anyway. So just pop in. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm just going to pop out of here and just see if I can. Well, I think I'm going to see if I can share this video. Well, and maybe can share this to my group. But we're Hi, everybody. Hello, Melody from the... Oh, how I hate... No, I'm kidding. Um, the Buckeye State. Do I get to say that? Hi, hi, hi. Okay, I was trying to figure out how to share this video. Oh, wait, there we go. I figured it out. Forget it. Uh, I figured it out. I'm going to share this to my studios page. Uh, look at this. I figured it out. Post. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, write a post to a group. Okay, I figured this out. <laughs> I'm going to share this to um, your artful journey. There we go. I already did. Done deal. Okay, hi everybody. Hello, hello. I'm here. I'll take this out of my face. So, um, thank you to Cindy Dare to Be Artsy, um, owner extraordinaire, for inviting me back. I am Tracy Weinzappel. This is live in my studio. Just so you know, there couldn't be more going on in this little workspace than right now. <laughs> okay, I just shared. I was able to share. I probably could share this to 20 more places. And we'll see um, how it goes. This is great. I'm never really live on. Um, I'm never really live on Monday night, so this is kind of different. But I'm taking over Dare to Be Artsy's page, and I pulled out some stamps. But I am gonna watch if y'all have requests for stamps or something. I already have in mind what we're gonna work on, and um, let let's see if I can give you a peek of what's going on. Okay, there are all, not all, I have, I counted, I think I have like eight to ten dozen wine glasses. These are just done and waiting to be cured. So that, those are what is happening there. Oh my God, I have, I have eight, I have four dozen more coming, ordered. Um, this is for a hat class, which will be announced tomorrow. I'm going to talk about this class right back here. Hold on, let me move this. Let me move that. Those were flowers I got this weekend. Okay. Um, this directly pertains to Dare to Be Artsy, so I will mention what's going on there. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I'll talk about that right there. That is a Dare to Be Artsy class with Valley um, Stamp and Scrap. Uh, they asked me to be part of their, like, launching of their website, and they've got a bunch of exciting stuff going on. I'm sure Cindy's not going to mind if I share that because it involves a few more stamp sets. <laughs> so I'm not going to look even what's back there because those are that's being taught um, May 13th. The hack class is going on my website tomorrow. Okay. Um... If you have some of my stamps today and you have a request, 
you can let me know. I pulled out three sets of stamps. I had talked to Cindy. Um, and then coming up in May, uh, I'm returning to my mixed media roots, and I'm doing a mixed media challenge, which that's going to be announced soon. Uh, I don't have a lot of time for rest lately. Uh, so the wine glasses are for sale on my website. Uh, I sell them at local events that I do uh, twice a year. I do it Mother's Day in the spring, and I do it at Christmas time. That's it. So actually May 1st, uh, I have four events to be at in the next two weekends, and then I'm done. So, um, y'all, my name is Tracy Weinzaffel. I am an artist, a full-time artist. I work with Dare to Be Artsy. They have a line of my stamps, and I will give you that link as well because that, that comes up as a question. Cindy is here to answer any questions that I cannot answer. Uh, yes, I do use a gloss enamel paint for the glasses. That's back there. Okay. Uh, so... That, um, I gave you my um, information. Uh, I do have a line of stamp. Um, tomorrow, Connie is asking something that um, tomorrow, <gasps> we're going live with, um, I run a, a membership group called Your Artful Journey. We are a tribe. I love everybody. Um, but we, I have a big announcement tomorrow going out. And I'm going to jump on live on my Facebook page to talk about it and answer some questions in the morning. Probably about 8.30, I want to say. So, Connie, that news is tomorrow. Um, the resource link... Uh, I can give you my resource link, but let's talk about what we're going to do tonight. Um, I talked to Cindy, and I pulled out three sets of stamps. I don't, I never know what I'm doing, uh, because that's how I work best. I work best not under a lot of pressure, and um, I pulled the dotted swirls out. That's number one. I pulled the create set out, number two. And I just talked to Cindy, and I talked about Always Wine Time. There it is. I, can, I guess I can unwrap this. I guess I can unwrap this because I own it. And then I pulled some postcards out. And the reason I pulled some postcards out, so they have, is I thought this was would be a fun um, space to work on. Um, I have four of them here. Don't worry. Rest assured. I'm sure I have a thousand more somewhere else. I didn't pull them out. Um, well, okay. I'm pulling them out of here. I don't know where my other set of them went. Um, my preferred, my preferred um, postcards are Hanamule, and they are on my resource page. Uh, which I'll give you is uh, my website. I love Hanamule. I just had these four left over. They're another brand name, but I'm just going to use them because I want to get rid of them. Uh, I think that's all I have to say. Uh, if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask. I actually have the camera here. I have the camera here. I have a separate area which I can view from while I'm painting. I do try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, I will tell you a little bit about me. I come from this space. I come from uh, the mixed media world. I love to paint anything and everything. That's not a joke. I really do. Uh, I do live demos that are free every Wednesday on my Facebook page. This week happens to be, um, is it the third? If it's the third Wednesday of the month, it'll be mixed media. Um, but these are mostly live. Oops, there's nothing on that page. Uh, nothing on that page. Th this is mostly live events or free demos um, that I run. And this is the space I come from. This is the space I create from. Um, this weekend I painted a planter out um, that was built. Um, and I was laughing because I said I need to Tracy up this thing. 
Um, if you think I like flowers, the answer is everything in my world is probably floral of some nature. And they don't exactly have to exist. They just have to exist in my brain. I like sunsets too. Um, and it's not the only thing I paint. It's just, it seems to be where I fall very comfortably. So uh, hence my, my, my sets of um, stamps. Uh, people are saying I, uh, on my Facebook page, Tracy Wines Apple Studios, I put um, my planter that was built. It's bigger than I am. It's big. I could lay down in it. And um, I was, okay, it is the third uh, Wednesday of the month. So this Wednesday will be mixed media. And that's on my Facebook page. That book, can I have it? Um, it's not done yet, Annette. It's not done. I got lots of blank pages. I mean, do you want to finish it? Or <laughs> I got a lot of blank space in here yet. I like to finish that chapter in my life. All right. So if you guys are okay with me um, working from a small space, I might have to move in. Okay, good. People are saying, uh, I probably could share my Facebook page. I'll just type my name out. <laughs> That might be helpful. So to say that I just paint in an art journal is is not right because I paint on everything. Thank you. All right, Cindy, are we ready to begin? I don't know what we're doing. I pulled some paints out. Uh, but if you are interested, I'm going to say this because I know um, Valley Stamp and Scrap, we're going to have an evening um, of painting uh, and I'll share that link. I, I you know, it's, I, I don't have a Dell moment right now, but I'm happy. <laughs> okay. I have one of those planters. Guess what I'm going to do? Hmm, going to paint it. So just so you know, I, I shared a photo of planters I've done. I do a lot of stuff with wine barrels. I live in a wine community, a lot of wineries around me. So I take old wine barrels, cut them in half, sand them, treat them, paint them, seal them, and I sell them, and I keep that, some of them for myself. So let's switch cameras here. All right, there you go. Um, you're going to be able to see this, don't worry, if I have to move closer. <laughs> I do paint anything and everything. All right, I am going to get some painter's tape out. And let's see, all right, I'm going to be, I'm going to just start with a little bit of a, I buy my tape and a bunch of, now, um, when I'm painting a postcard, first off, I want to make sure that the address is going to align and be the right way. Yes, I tape it off because I like the nice clean edges. I can't see the edge of this. And y'all can tell me where you're viewing from if you have, I know you all religiously follow Cindy. She is amazing. I'm lucky to have her as a friend and a. Oh, Chris, I can give you the link to that as well. Yes. Where are you looking at the bag? <laughs> I got to I got to see. I have um, a bunch of custom bags that were made for me. All right, so yes, I do like to tape down even when I'm working on a postcard. I like the nice clean edges. Oh, good. Everybody's telling me where they're watching from. Okay. So I'm going to do, do, I should have taped down three postcards in a row and just moved the camera. So I can do that. <laughs> Ditto, Cindy. So first off, I'm going to pull out, now anything I talk about, my stamps included. I'm just going to pull out a set. I just randomly pulled this out. This is the Odyssey set of Prima watercolors. Just grab any watercolors you have. Um, let's see. I'm going to uh, wet down the background of this, this postcard. We're just going to have fun. We're going to, I'm going to, whether I complete two or three postcards. I like to be done uh, within an hour and I'm not going to switch that up. Hello everybody. So let's just start with some fun colors.
Um, okay, I'll do it. I reluctantly. Hi, um, is it Sharia from Shepherd, Michigan? I'm from Michigan originally, but I live in Southern California now. Because the sun shines more often. Oh, the daffodils are blooming in Michigan. Okay. So I am going to create a background just that we can create on. I don't need to be real strict about this. I have no direction as of what we're doing. If you're wondering where this is going, these are watercolor postcards. Uh, they are on my resources page. I, hopefully, if Cindy's okay, I can give the link to that. Um, so I do products that I, I know, use, and love. I list on my resource page. So uh, my favorite are Hana Mule. That's um, just a very great company. I think I'm going to just try and, like, let's just blast out a few cards, you know, and just throw caution to the wind. What do you think about that? I love to, I, I love to answer and, like, make sure you all know I do use a lot of watercolor or mixed media paper. That's the space I create from, and that um, is important to me. So I basically put those watercolor down. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, I don't like to, I like to just be honest and say this is where it came from. These are watercolor postcards. Yes, I am using watercolor postcards. Thank you. Cindy does have a store, by the way, which I will be going to. I already, um, I'm already halfway to my vaccination situation. So let's just start simple. How about we do that? What's the dusting powder and sponge called? Sorry, I don't know what that is. I have not used a dusting powder. Sorry. Um, Annette, I'm going to answer questions here, but if Wednesday night you want to bring other questions, um, I will answer them there. It's just a little hard to, um, otherwise I'll be deep diving in other locations. So let's just start basic. Oh, Hudsonville. Oh, hi, Pam. Pam, are you no longer in Brighton or? Oh. I'm going to stand up. I have to stand up. Don't pay attention to how um, dirty my acrylic <laughs> stamp pads are. Do not pay attention to that. All right. There we go. So this is one of my stamps. And Cindy, I know I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. Oh, yes, I am. I usually like to practice. I just like to stamp and make sure I got it good. Okay, this is the Create set. Uh, yes, uh, this is the Create set of stamps. It is actually one of my most favorite stamps. And I know Cindy probably could start, I know she doesn't want to do this, but she probably could give some links while I'm talking. Okay, and if you're curious about this set of stamps, that will help you. Um, I'm just giving a nice firm stampity stamp stew. Yep, there we go. Um, cover my, okay. Now, I, I'm going to go very basic. I think we're just going to go inspire. Let's just do that. Let's just start. Let's start where I'm going to clean my stamps off as I go because we all know how bad I am at all of that shenanigans. Okay. Now, Everything I, I, I talk about is um, on my resources page, including the Dare to Be Artsy link. Cindy does rock my creative world. Um, she always has since the day I met her. And I'm lucky that I got to be friends with her as well. So that's... All right. Let's just keep it simple. Let's just... Oh, do I dare just stamp this without... No. Uh, here's the thing about ink sticking to ink. You have a better... It, it, it actually, people sometimes clean their ink pads so perfectly, and I'm like, why do you do that? Because it actually sticks better. <laughs> um, oh, I love it when I get a good, clean image. 
Okay, let's keep that rocking and rolling. And I'm just, I'm actually going to put my stamps back as I work. So if you're ever wondering, here's, here, this classic set of stamps are, uh, I like watercolors. I work in acrylics too, so don't, um, in fact, on Wednesday I'll be doing mixed media. Uh, but today I'm going to just primarily stick to the watercolors just to keep it simple. So I'm in the classic set right here. So this is the primary red. When you have a good, when you have a good classic set of watercolors, or any paint, by the way, you hold the key to every color because guess what? You can mix and match and make your own colors, but most people don't want to do that. They want they want to get by their paints all pre-mixed. I understand that, but think about what's in your printer, those four magic colors, uh, and they mix and they make a blend of colors. Now, yes, this is as is, is simple as I'm going to make this, but we're going to have to have something I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get you at least a couple of cards out of this. I don't know how, how many Cindy does. She probably does 100 uh, every Monday night, but I won't get to 100. <laughs> uh, Linda just said my, um, my acrylic paint. Uh, Linda, or let's see. Linda, if you stay to the end, I will show you my true collection. And just so you know, I used to work for the company. Uh, so yes, I do. And I still am a deco art maker. So I do have a lot of their paints and, um, I work with them. So, all right. So I just want to, oh good. She says, so maybe as we use a set, we'll just go on and then um, good. Now I'm just, I'm throwing a heat gun on that because nobody wants to watch paint dry. It actually becomes a very boring situation. Okay. Now I cannot not use this set. By the way, on Wednesday, we're going to be using my texture stamp, and don't be surprised if this makes a showing as well. Now, I'm going to have to stamp right off of there. Yeah, I will. That doesn't matter. I can stamp right off of there. Now, I like to. I like to stamp. Yes. I don't really care that any of my images... No. I, I will care about that because I'm going to have to change outline. So let's just do this. We don't care where it lands. We can go on to the painter's tape. Oh, wow. I love it when I get a nice clean image and I don't expect to get one. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that away. No. Well, when you put that on the back, you can't really see what the rest of them are. Okay. Yeah, same stamp. Same stamp. Now you're wondering, how am I going to get that to tie in? You know what? I am wondering the same dang question. That's 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 happening in my world. Oh, well, you know what? If we end up stamping off somewhere, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. I actually stamped that too hard. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm good. I'm good. Everything is a work in there. And then I'm going to grab out this very expensive tool that y'all should have in your arsenal. It's called a Sharpie. You can get them at your major home depots. You can, I know y'all thought that was going to be a magic wand, but it's not. See what I'm doing? 
you see. I've already stamped the image. I'm going back over it, giving it some love. This is why I said, if it is not a perfect image, do not fret, okay? Don't ever fret. I kind of feel like a leaf should be coming off of this, but I'm okay. Now, you know what? We kind of need some more dots because there's nothing that says you can't add more. <laughs> Isn't that? I don't know, guys. <sighs> I feel like I should keep this simple and not even. Um, I'm done. I, I moving on. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna take the stamp pad. I'm gonna take a card number one. No fretting allowed. Okay. This is a. Just taking that stamp pad. Now here's another idea might appeal to you. You might want to take some white and take a um, what either a white pen or you know what I can do it. Let's just do it. You know. All right, let's just add a little bit of you know. Should I add the white? Y'all want the white? Or let it go, reveal, move on. It's up to you. This is one of my... I, I leave it up to you. I, I will wait for the first boat. The first boat gets it. Leave it, turn it white. Leave it, turn it white. Okay, we had a request for white. So basically, you can use a white gel pen. Now I love a good, uh, no white, do it. <laughs> okay, okay, this will be quick. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. Take a little liner brush. Let's get a liner brush that is, I put a little bit of acrylic paint. You can take a gel pen, by the way, that will work. I like a good liner brush, a little bit of acrylic paint. Okay. Did anybody time how long that card took me? <laughs> Watch, it'll take me more time to do this than it will. Oh, I got a little random rogue hair. Oh, this liner brush. This one has got to go to be donated to the garbage. It, it will be donated. It, it just hit the trash can. Hold on, I'm looking for a good liner brush. Things with a liner brush, you have to take care of them. Oh, that one's even worse. You're kidding me, right? All right, let's dig deep in here. I got, I got a good one. I keep it hidden. And don't worry, when I go out of the lines, I can fix it. So the white pens I use are genuinely the Jelly Roll or the Uniball Signo. Both of those are on. I, I'm just not a pen person. I like a good acrylic paint. And I will look up, I'm sorry, while I'm doing this, it's like, don't let my hands shake, don't move my head. Oops. Okay. So if you went out of the lines, guess what? 
Okay, so Cindy, when uh, I can answer that question, when you're using like watercolors and you're using like a water soluble pen, which all of those like jelly rolls and stuff are, so here's the secret when you are not perfect, you just take your little Sharpie and fix your lines so you basically don't have to worry about staying in the lines because you're just going to go around and reinforce them. You want to do you want to make sure when you're using acrylic paint that your paint is dry because otherwise your Sharpie and your paint will not get along. It will ruin your Sharpie. You will call me crying that your $2 Sharpie just took a run for the hills. So um, please don't call me. I don't work for the company. Uh, I've already warned you. But yes, when you're using a water soluble pen, it's going to have that tint. Uh, that tendency. Okay, so it's done. Now here's the secret with any of these postcards. Run your heat gun over the top. If you're worried about removing that tape and having anything come up with it, just do that. Okay, whoops, hold on. Let's find the top, let's find the bottom. And, da da da, okay. Now, really? Oh, I did put the ends in. Ow. Okay, don't burn your hand though, that's not wise. So let me do this. This will keep the postcard from pulling up. Look at how clean, you didn't get it on the back. Okay, who am I mailing this card to? Okay, I'm kidding, I'm so bad at mailing stuff. I can, I'll, I'll give you a, a, don't get excited about that. I have a, an example of how bad I am at mailing stuff. Okay, card number one, didn't take a lot of thought, we did it. Now, here's a fun thing. Uh, if you have any type of like metallic things and you wanna make these dots pop, you can do that, okay? I'm not gonna stress over that. We're moving on. Y'all, you guys are card makers, y'all know what to do. Okay, check this, okay. Um, let's use a thinner tape. Let's do a thinner border. Oh, go. <laughs> this is a game I like to play. Where is the end of it? Okay, this tape is really thin. So before you all go ballistic and say, where did you get it? It's uh, I'm gonna give you the resource link. It's the number one thing that is bought off of my Amazon affiliate account. It happens to be this tape because it comes in three unique widths. And I absolutely love it. And yes, it's listed and, um, okay. I'm not going to look. What is my next set, you ask? What should I use next? Does somebody have a request? I can do the wine set. I'm not drinking a glass of wine. And like I said, Wednesday we're going to be doing a mixed media demo. Now this tape is so narrow that... Okay. Now we'll have a thinner border. That Sharla, it's on my resources page. It's the Hana Mule. It's listed right there. Okay, wine set is coming up. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for Hana Mule postcards, you can go to the link on my, oh. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, I think we're gonna go grapes. Pour me a glass of the good stuff. Oh my god, I kind of want, okay. Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking in my colors. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, wine set, wine set, wine set. Okay. Now my wine glass, oh, wait a minute. I can't do the post, but that's okay. It can go off the page. Y'all are gonna know what that is. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get some rich burgundies and um, like the background just to be like more of a deeper, I'm gonna use the same set that I just used. Uh, I'm looking for a paintbrush that is going to, okay. Use the grapes, okay, let's use the grapes. So I'm gonna pre-wet this again. And I, I think I'm gonna use the grapes. Mm 
And I'm just not going to go crazy. This might be not as, as, it might be a little more muted. And I'm going to add, I feel like this color is, oh yeah, oh boy. Yeah, oh yeah. Similar background. I'm not going to think work right now. Don't fix it. But it might not be that dark. It just might be... I love it when I am standing and teaching in my workout ring on my, on my uh, watch goes off and says, great job, because I like to stand when I'm working. Okay, what do we want? This is the Odyssey set, and that is on the resources page now. I don't really want this to be too dark. Let's bring some more orange in here. And uh, watercolors dry lighter than um, they go on, so that's good news. Done. Six o two. I'm looking at the time. Now, see the good news. See, I can move it around. So if you guys are wondering tomorrow what my latest adventure is going to be, whoops, I have to make sure this is dry. Sorry, that, that, that corner is escaping me. See, it just lightens up a little bit. Um, join in tomorrow morning. I, I will post uh, an announcement of when I'm going to go light. Let's just go with these grapes, these big, fat grapes right there. The best wines, oh my god, let's just do that. And then I'm going to have the little swirls coming off. Okay. Oh, Cindy said no time limit. Oh, I'm going to have to open a window, a window oh, or turn an air conditioner on. Uh, the best thing about creating, here's me, the best thing about creating the way I do is not putting time constraints, doing these little easy backgrounds that are not that difficult. By the way, I just, I used these when I was painting some of my wine glasses. I used this as a template. See, look at that. That is awkward. Cindy just said I can play. Eventually I have to eat though, because I have to eat by seven um, on my workout schedule. Oh, do I want this to go that way or do I want this? <gasps> Ooh, I'm rethinking how I want this to go. Hold on, let me rethink. Mm, I kind of feel like it's going to be a little more inviting going this way. And I could do it. Okay. Yep. And I might as well just stamp. I love. This is like a cute little invite to, oh my god. To inviting your friends. The best wines. Oh, look at I wonder if that fits down there. Does it? Oh, no. Darn it. I could have gone over a little bit. Yep. Okay. I'm going to do it up there. I, I'm just making on-the-fly decisions. Sometimes they're not that great, but... And maybe Cindy can give the link to this set. Um, you might notice I am stamping on a piece of paper. I like to just test it out, make sure I'm going to get a nice good adhesion and that ink sticks better. I'm, I'm not a great, oh, look at that. I am a great stamper. All right. I like when I... And the other thing is, I've got all these little swirls and things that can come into play. But let's color this bad boy up. I'm just going to return to that same set. 
I gotta sit. So I don't know. I think there's mostly women here, but um, I'm going through um, a time period in life where hot flashes are, yeah, really getting to me. So I'm going to just come in here and, you know, why grapes tend to be like two different colors. You know, you can um, mix and match and go along here. Do, 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 do. And don't worry when... You feel like, so I'm just, I'm mixing two colors. I'm using, and I'm just going to go in here. We'll darken that up. Now let's see how this green goes. Oh, mine too, Karen. I haven't had a good night's sleep in a few months. <laughs> so I'm going to use less water and just try to go as... Somebody just say snow. <gasps> Linda, I just gave the link. Linda, thank you for joining in. I just gave the link. All right. And I'm using completely different stamps. See, I kept I kept them separate. Linda is the owner of uh, Valley Stamp and Scrap. Okay. Now, that kind of looks like it's getting a little bit lost. Who cares? We'll get it back. Oh my God, did somebody just say snow in Wisconsin? That is wrong on so many levels. Snow in Michigan, now you know why I moved people. Okay, so here's the thing. Now I'm gonna go in and I don't care about being exact. I can even take, let me do this because it's easier. I love that. So I'm just going to take a thicker Sharpie. See, I'm just going to darken that all in. Oh my god, well, I understand Australia, you're going into another season, but we're all supposed to be warming up. It's It was really warm here today. I'm planting all my good stuff. So this is another reason why I tell y'all, don't worry, you know, go in there and kind of add scribbles to your stamps. Won't even know they're a stamp anymore. Remember that white paint we had left over? Where did I, what did I do with it? This is kind of nifty. Let's go in. Oops. I'm just going to add a little bit of, you know, those little reflections that come, that are on the stamps, that are on the grapes, kind of when the light's hitting it. Usually all hits in the same location. Uh, somebody just asked if this will be available on replay. Yes, it stays on the Facebook page unless Cindy decides. Oh, that was really bad. Uh, but I upload it to my YouTube. And I'll hold these up. And I do photograph every one individually. Uh, I don't need to do anything with um, the... I, I Everything turned out really good there. Oh, I'm going to just go ahead and just give this a little bit of a, you know, just... Darken up that border a little bit. 
Now this would be a great invite. I don't have to invite my friends for wine. They kind of assume when they come over. Okay. And now what else comes with this little... Oh, look at how cute this little bad boy is. Okay. We're going to... Oh, great. All right, I am looking for, I'm just going to go around. I don't even know, I don't feel like coloring another one on this. All right, back to my swirls. Hold on, let me go. Ooh, that one's giant. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> I'm not afraid, are you? It just seems that that swirl just seems to make a good little place. And I'm not gonna stamp it too hard. I'm just gonna be ginger with it. And I'm not even, I'm just gonna just throw something in the corner here. Okay, uh, heat gun. I do have a heat gun suggestion. It's on my resources page. Here's the thing about a heat gun. Uh, you want to pay attention. You want to keep the airflow moving. <laughs> you all are laughing at that, but I have taught a class and burned the canvas while I was teaching it. This stamp, the, what I just stamped wasn't that amazing. So I just want to go over that because I didn't stamp that and do stick anything to it. But that's okay because I am the keeper of my stamps here okay and then I'm gonna go in there and add another swirl I know see so um, you can use a hair dryer don't uh, don't worry about that a hair dryer is going to do um, a very similar job it's just, I always say, make sure you're paying attention to what you're heating up, okay? I, I tend to work quite quickly, especially when I'm demoing. Nobody wants to watch me do, um, uh, nobody wants to watch me, you know, have dry paint drying. Okay, uh, let's do one thing to this. I'm going to go, I'm going to just take a ruler, okay, okay, okay. Just hang tight with me on this thought. Yeah, I, I have done some pretty crazy things with a heat gun. Remember, it gives off heat. <laughs> and keep it moving. That's all I'm suggesting. I think we have another. Do we have time for another card, Cindy? Because I just want to. And does anybody have a stamp set that maybe they have? <laughs> I I am one of those people. Now, I am I am going to go in here and. And I deep dive more when I'm doing classes. Like this is just a, oh, you get a little free demo. And I, you're probably wondering, what is she doing with that Sharpie, that mad woman? Okay. So let's lift that up. Take that off. Here we go. Uh, I'm done. Okay, one more card. Do we have time? Uh, I think we have time. Cindy, do you uh, have a request? I'm going to hold off on the poppies. I'm going to look. Okay. Oh, look at We had a little bit go off. I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, what a bad tape job I did. Okay. That's okay. I got to fix. What a bad taper. Actually, I'm okay with it. It's not that bad. Come back. Okay. Hold on. I got to get my finger out of there. Okay. I do have a fix for that. I'm just going to take a little bit of paint. But here is a little trick. If it's watercolors, and I don't recommend you go crazy here. I've always tell my Your Artful Journey members, when you go to fix a boo-boo, leave it alone. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a baby wipe to the watercolors. See, they're watercolors. So they'll, they'll kind of come back, but just don't take the paper away. Okay. I, I just am a perfectionist, okay? That's it. I'm a perfectionist. 
But what a cute little, um, and I will, like I said, I'm going to photo, see, I can't help myself. I want it to be perfect. And that was just me not putting the tape down that great. Okay, good. It's coming right off. Okay. All right, moving on. I'll photograph this for you. The best wines are the one we drink with friends. Okay, do we have another? I'm going to pull another set out. Wipe that down. Wow, the time goes so dang fast. Um, Cindy, do we... Uh, la, 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 la. La, 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 la. Hold on, I'm looking. Let's put another postcard down. And I'll fo oh, whoops, I gotta, I gotta wipe the surface. Put this back down, make sure that is working. And we'll go back. Just pick your favorite. I don't, I, it's like your kids, you don't have a favorite. Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> I have three children. And of course I do not have a favorite. Yes, I do. <laughs> it would be my, I can't tell you. Because when I'm talking to those kids, I tell them they're all my favorite. Okay, say it with words. She said it. I like this one because... And then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to not do the background first. I'm going to stamp first. Then I'm going to do the background. Let's make this a thank you card. Do I have a word like thanks or something? Do I have, okay, do I have like, I'm sure I have. Mm -hmm. I always love this. I aspire to inspire. Like, I need something, but, or a happy birthday, one of the two. Let's see what I have open here. What's this one? Okay. <sighs> okay. So say it with words. What, do you, what is say it with words? Basically, inside all of these flowers are words and text, so it's kind of built in. So let's do that. I don't even need to go crazy on this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I can't even think I'm going to ditch that idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not fair if you have a favorite son and a favorite daughter. That means you only have two kids. That's what my parents say, and it's a, it's a lie. Probably one of my most favorites. Ooh, look at me with the mess. Okay. I, I was really starting out in a situation where I was like, I'm going to be so neat. Is this going to be a thanks card? I think it is. Okay, we're going to keep this simple. As I complicate this, I gotta stand up and stamp. And I'm gonna, I am gonna test the stamp just to make sure. Yep. Mostly when I have stamping issues, it's because I never refill my stamp pads. Why don't we just do three tulips? Oops, I think I moved that one. Don't panic. Everybody panic. Nah, don't panic. Let's just do that. Let's do three tulips. Okay. I mean, let's try and stamp them better. Um, here's the thing about me, too, and I know a lot of you are fussy, cutting, perfect stampers. I'm not one of those people. Uh, this does not stress me out one iota. I mean, it does, but we'll pull it. We'll rein it in. I never give up. I never throw in the towel and say, okay, done, not going to happen. I kind of just say, we're going to commit to it. We'll figure it out as we go along. So let's go and just tool up these bad boys. So I'm going to keep this simple. And you'll discover you'll never even notice that that was supposed to be, you know, stamped correctly.
I mean, you'll know, but nobody else will. Okay. I'm trying to come up with some... Ooh, that yellow is so yellow. Just trying to keep this simple. I seem to be living in the... Um, pinks, orange, and, but that's what's speaking to me tonight. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. She said, um, I like to stamp on something with a little give, like a pad, but I, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, here's the thing about lines and worrying about, yeah, I just don't go there, but I know Cindy had, I've actually learned a lot of my stamping tips from Cindy. Um, that's not to say when I say I'm a bad stamper that I learned that from her. It's just, I don't tend to go, create from a space that I, I, I have to care about it. So I just, you know, I'm not, that's not who I am. I also like people to know that you can create and just kind of move on and not obsess over it. And I think a lot of people throw in the towel because they're not good stampers or they're not good at this or they're not, you know, you can pick out 10 things that you're not good at. I can do it too. I don't need to do that in my life. So. <sighs> so let's just go right underneath there so I don't have to fussy cut around to you. All right. Let's make the sky. Wonderful. We're going to come in and Just going in now and coloring. Nothing perfect, just whimsical little sky. Let's pull that green back down there. I didn't even let anything dry, I just went for it. All right, and if I missed any questions, I will come back and answer them. I'm just, I'm kind of, you know. Okay. So, none of that is perfection. <laughs> now, I don't know, do I have a quote? Do I have a something? There we go. Now, see, remember, I said, oh, goodness, this is not going to be perfect, but I'm going to come back in. And make new lines. So. So the cool part is the words that didn't show up right there. It's just the middle of the flower and it happened to be perfect spacing. It didn't matter to me whether they showed up or not. 
Thanks on the thanks set. Okay, hold on. Looking for it. Uh, I know I'd probably move that over here. Thanks. Here it is. Found it. It's going to be there. Whoops. <laughs> well, there'll be a border there because I just... Perfect. Imperfectly perfect. Do I have... Oh, I do have a leaf. Look at that. Hold on. Will that thanks fit the right there? Yeah, sort of. Smile. Live, laugh, love. Look at this. I have room for... Yep, okay. What time is it? Oh, 6.27. Well, I only have to have this card done in three minutes, right? Three minutes? I can do it. Is that going to be up this way? Of course it's going to be that way. Okay. Get rid of that. Dry this. Okay. I'm going to just... I thought one of those needed a leaf. Just one. It did. Okay. And then... Could I get live, laugh, oh, come on, really? <laughs> hmm, hold on, can I fit you? Oh, it's just, okay, I'm just going to put love, that's it. Why make it any more complicated than it has to be? Hold on, I thought of one other thing. Too big. Okay. Don't make it any more complicated than it has to be. I go through and I just create. Okay, stick down, please. Look at look at how I don't. It's almost so obvious. Okay, there we go. Just love. That's my message. Just love. Yep or do. Okay, if you have some of those awesome colored stamp pads too, uh, you can do the same thing. I was doing a lot of wonderful companies. This is a green. Uh, this is discontinued, so I'm not going to really just show this off. But So this is green. They have a teal. But now, like so many companies... Done. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to take this tape off. Uh, am I going to take this tape off? Yes, I am. I'm going to take this tape off. Look at how, Now, look at how the clean the edges are in this one. But I had an idea. Well, I guess I don't even need to. Well, um, so another idea. Where is my ruler? Which I'm probably going to do in the other one you saw when the. Uh... So all you need to do is just go along that edge and you have a nice clean edge. So I'm just going to do this. That's just my Sharpie. Nothing. Because I, I went out of the line just a little bit. I'm a. Oh! Okay, I love that. Okay, Cindy is giving me her information on her. So her green, 
is one of my favorites, but I know. See, you just kind of cleans up that edge a little bit. I'm just one of those people who, and see, I have an idea. Remember my non-perfect clean edge right here? Uh, I like to admit when I'm not happy with something. So watch this. I'm just going to admit when I'm not happy with something. And then I'm going to do this. Do, 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 All that imperfection is going to go bye-bye. This is a chisel tip Sharpie, which is kind of giving way. Obviously, you can tell I have to make a couple of passes here. But I don't mind that I have to do that to cover up all that bad little paint area that I didn't like. <laughs> don't you like when you admit when you make a mistake? That's called keeping it real, people. Okay. And now all of a sudden my mistake becomes a lot less. I could have picked a marker that worked though, but that's okay. It's still there, it's still working. Ah, yes. Yep, that is how she rolls. I, I, I did not like that I had a little bit of escaping of the paint. So this chisel tip will just clean it up. Oh yeah. Yep. That's what I needed. Okay. That makes me happier. And that makes me happier. And this makes me happier. Done. I mean, I only threw everything on the floor. All right, she does have ink pads. Okay, good. So there you go. I'll photograph each one of these, by the way. They're super simple. I just love how people overthink things. That's not me. I got three. I got a... It looks like a bomb went off in here, but that's okay. I'll clean up the stamps. Uh, thank you very much, Cindy, for having me come back and do this again. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact me on my Facebook page. I am always willing to answer questions uh, and um, get back with you. <laughs> And no, I am not the kind of person who practices and says, this is what we're going to do. Now take that back because Linda at Valley Stamp and Scrap, that is what we're doing. They're all pre-planned. I didn't pull the poppy stamp out because we're using the poppy stamp in two of the cards. So I kind of steer clear of all the cards I'm going to be doing um, in that class. There's a purpose for that. So if you're interested, I'd uh, love to have you join me. That's May 13th. The month of May, by the way, is my birthday. I like to give back and do some fun giveaways. Also, we're doing the Mixed Media Challenge, which is a week-long challenge. I submerse myself, and uh, I think I shared those pages. These are all Mixed Media. We will be doing these right in a journal. You can do them wherever you'd like to do them. Um, this is the idea for where... It's always fun to put words in there. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cindy. Okay, and if you have any questions about anything, just let me know. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This video will go to my YouTube channel. I know um, Cindy leaves it on the Facebook page, so if you want to share it with your friends, please ask them to go like uh, Dare to Be Artsy. It's one of my favorite companies. I love working with Cindy. Uh, thank you so much for saying I am a great te teacher. I um, It's one of the things I love to do. And travel is coming back. I'm going to go see my parents. And then I'm hitting the road, Jack. 
If you all want to know what's going on, tomorrow morning I will be on my Facebook page and talking about some fun stuff I have coming up. And I appreciate it. If not, I'll see you Wednesday night at my Facebook page. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Cindy. I'll talk to you all soon. Good night.